in this video, I am going over the CAD skill for the NREMT. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. The first thing you do is say BSI is my scene safe. The proctor is going to say that your scene is safe. I'm going to have my imaginary partner maintain C-spine on my patient. If you had an actual partner, it would be behind the patient and hold the head. But I don't have an actual partner, so I have imaginary partners. And tell your partner, do not let go until I tell you to let go. The next thing you want to do is you want to check CMS, which stands for Circulation, Motor, and Sensory. So circulation, pulse, motor, gripping of your fingers, or movement of the feet up and down, and sensory, you ask them which toe or finger you are touching. So I am going to go ahead and get check for pulses. So go ahead and squeeze my finger. Awesome, let go. And then, which finger am I touching? Index. Which finger am I touching? Pinky. Pinky. So CMS on top extremities is good. I'm going to check the bottom extremities. So I'm going to check for pedal pulses. Go ahead and push down the gas pedal, sir. Up. And which toe am I touching? Fat toe. Fat toe. So CMS is good. It's not a bad idea to ask the proctor. Proctor says yes, CMS is good. The next thing you want to do is you want to size up a C collar on your patient. And I'm going to get close up to show you how to size this up on your patient. The way you size up a C collar, if you have this brand, is you want to get your hand and place this finger, your pointer, right below the black mark right there, if you can see it, all right? And then you want to push these out or push these forward and then push these outward and then this will move. You want the bottom little cushion right there to be against the bottom part of wherever it measured out to. So I'm gonna measure this against my patient and then I'll close back up and show you how to measure it up. So I'm gonna get my hand and measure from the angle right here of the jaw to the trap. And my patient is about four fingers, so what I already have. So this is what it measured up from the angle of the jaw to the trap. I'm going to put the top finger, my pointer, right below that black mark, and then measure the cushion against the pinky and bring it somewhat flush. And I'm going to lock it in place right there. And then don't forget to bring this flat outward. That way it's not uncomfortable for your patient, right? The best way to put this on your patient is to cup it like this and just put it straight on like this. Wrap it around your patient and then ask them, is it comfortable? Is that comfortable? Yes. Okay. Make sure it's lined up nice and neat. That looks pretty good. All right. Now, you want to kneel beside your patient if it's appropriate and you want to put your forearm against their, their torso as you maintain the head, okay? And on my, my partner's count, we're gonna go forward. So one, two, three, let's go forward, forward, forward. Stop right there. My partner is gonna maintain C-spine while I get my can ready. If I had an, an actual partner with me, I could maintain C-spine and my partner could get the kid for me, okay? And then we wanna put the kid behind the patient. Before you go back in place to move your patient backwards, make sure that all the straps are outward, okay? Make sure they're all exposed. That's pretty good right there. And get back in place on head count, we're gonna go backwards. So one, two, three, going backwards. Awesome. All right, so go ahead and put your arms out. You wanna get these flaps and shimmy it up. Go ahead and put your arms down, sir. Now the straps, you want to go through them twice. The first time, just loosely put them on there, make sure they're, they're in place. The second time, come around and make sure they're nice and tight. As far as the sequence, the sequence does not matter, per the NREMT. As long as they're all on there, you're good to go. I teach from top to bottom because that's the easiest way to learn it. So I'm going to strap my patient down.
Make sure they're nice and tight. Don't forget about the leg straps. The leg straps, you want to bring them outward and then inward and loop it around and be very careful when you're actually putting these on a patient, especially if it's a male patient. After all this is said and done, it's not a bad idea to go through it. Make sure that you can only fit two fingers in between the straps and the patient's body. And now, check for padding behind the head. Does my patient need padding? My patient does need padding. So, I'm going to go ahead and put this on my patient. I'm going to go on this side because I have my straps over here. Let's go ahead and put your head a little back. It is, there are going to be some cases where this padding is not enough. In those cases, it is a good idea to just move your patient's head slightly back, not too much. But if you have to add more padding, by all means add more padding and ask your instructor how they want you to do it. When you put these straps on your patient, you want to make sure that you have an X on the side. Now I'm going to go ahead and verbalize that I'm moving my patient to the longboard, take off the straps, the leg straps, and I'm going to recheck for CMS. And you want to actually recheck for CMS. So again, I'm checking for a pulse on my patient. I got a pulse, go ahead and squeeze on my finger, sir. And then which finger am I touching? Index. Which one am I touching over here? Um, go ahead and push down the gas pedal. Up, take it for repeater pulses, and which one am I touching? Which toe? Uh, pinky. Awesome. Toe. And that's it for the entire scale. Thanks. 